Well, Mike, years worth of work and thousands of hours of investigating. At the end of the day, Prosecutor Mike Moser here in Butler County says it has paid off. He says investigators are now confident they know who raped a Miami University student nearly 16 years ago. Boyd Ailes walked into a Butler County courtroom with his head down. The 59-year-old from Connorsville, Indiana, is accused of raping a Miami University senior in 2006. In an off-campus residence on North Campus Avenue, a senior student was robbed at gunpoint, tied up, and raped. WLWT covered the story heavily when it happened. Oxford police believe five students were home at the time, 4 a.m., asleep. One of them called 911. Someone got in our house. My husband just got raped. Please come here. He has a gun and he told us he'd kill her. The case went cold. Almost 16 years later, an arrest. And enter a not guilty plea at this time. Prosecutor Mike Moser says they connected Ailes to the rape through DNA collected at the scene and forensic genealogy. We're ultimately able, through thousands of hours of work and the analysis of many genetic details, we're able to determine first who the father of this defendant was. Investigators hit a roadblock when Ailes' biological father didn't know he had this son. Detectives eventually determined who the alleged rapist mother was, but... The mother of this defendant was not aware that the father was somebody other than her husband. Moser says further analysis, working with the DNA technology company Parabon, ultimately led them to Ailes. This defendant was determined to be, genetically, the donor of the sperm that was found in the body of the young lady from Miami University. In addition to DNA, Moser says the victim got a look at her attacker when his mask briefly came off. Moser says a facial composite created back then matches what Ailes looked like in 2006. And today, Judge Spates set Ailes' bond at $775,000. Now, Mike Moser says DNA has also connected Ailes to a rape in Fayette County, Indiana. He has not been charged in that case. Reporting live tonight in Hamilton, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.